What if I told you that every morning around the world, people wake up with between them enough data to control the coronavirus pandemic? And what if I told you that the first thing they did with this data is flush it down the toilet? That data is contained in our urine and in our feces and takes the form of viral genes, the sort of which cause coronavirus, for example. And when we flush it down the toilet, our wastewater combines with that of our neighbours. And by the time it reaches the wastewater treatment plant, that data has been transformed into a community healthcare report, one that is anonymous and one that is comprehensive and updates day by day, hour by hour, flush by flush in real time. The science of reading that healthcare report to the community is known as wastewater-based epidemiology. Simply put, that's the science of analysing wastewater to provide public health data. This is the science in which I'm doing my PhD, and I'm particularly interested to find out what wastewater can tell us about infectious disease outbreaks and what it can tell us about the coronavirus pandemic in particular. There are several fiddly little challenges to solve before this technique's ready to go, though. The first of which might be that wastewater is full of chemicals and enzymes that will destroy any viral genes that they touch. And so the viral genes that make it from your toilet to the wastewater treatment plant are contained inside a viral shell. And so it's my job to get those genes out of the viral shell without them touching any of the chemicals or enzymes in the wastewater sample around them. This is a fiddly little challenge, but it's one in which I'm making good progress in so far. Another challenge is the concentration challenge. There may be as few as one gene copy, an entire milliliter of wastewater sample. Really hard to wrap your head around just how dilute this really is. But that's equivalent to taking a bottle of Ribena and diluting it in all of the world's oceans. That's hundreds of thousands of times more dilute than you might expect to see in a diagnostic lab at a hospital, for example. So I need to come up with ways that are extremely sensitive to detect this low level of genes. The coronavirus pandemic has shown us a great deal about our current methods for monitoring disease outbreaks. Firstly, that they have a lag, and secondly, that they're not representative. We only test people who have symptoms, and people may take a week to display symptoms or may not display them at all. Wastewater-based epidemiology promises to help with that, offering a an early warning system for future disease outbreaks or a method of monitoring the current coronavirus outbreak. So I'll end with a question. If we had this technique up and running uh, late last year, what would the current coronavirus pandemic look like? Thank you.